Okay, hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to be presenting to you a theory of mine. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about my idea that in, well, in all of the Zelda games so far, Zelda has actually been, like, well, in Skyward Sword, Zelda was God of Hylia, and then all the other Zeldas were descendants, and therefore, mm, pretty much just God of Hylia. However, in Breath of the Wild, I don't believe this to be true anymore. I believe that Zelda is a separate person to the goddess Hylia. So today, I'm going to be showing you why. Okay, so the first thing to mention is that in Breath of the Wild, the goddess Hylia actually has a presence as goddess Hylia, not Zelda. Like a separate presence. Or identity. So therefore, we must conclude that Miss Presence is actually Goddess Hylia or some fake entity. But, well, what evidence is there that the Goddess Hylia is there in the first place? Okay, so my first bit of evidence to provide the evidence that the Goddess Hylia is actually present in Breath of the Wild is, well, the monks in the game. So, on the parchment describing the story of Calamity Ganon, you see that there's 15 towers, just like the amount of towers in the game. So, and there's also monks on the parchment, so it'd be logical that there would be 120 monks, just like the 120 monks in the game. Or, even 125, based on the 5 extra monks in the Trial of the Sword. However, there isn't. There is only 61 monks on that parchment. So, this can lead to either two conclusions. That just all of the... All 61 monks are just teleporting from shrine to shrine based on where Link is. Or, with 61 monks on the parchment, there were 61 at a time. However, when the shrines were cre created, the goddess Hylia got more monks to come into the shrines. Because, well, the Sheikah were said to work for the goddess Hylia. Well, at least during the time of Skyward Sword. So... If this was true, then this could be further backed up by the Trial of the Sword. So, in the Trial of the Sword, in the final cutscene, the monks, they say, that they prepared this trial following a rev revelation from the Goddess Hylia. This would mean that the Goddess has told them to create the trial. So... That one shows the goddess getting monks to create shrines or trials. Two, in the actual shrines, the monks often say the words in the name of the goddess Hylia. They also say, may the goddess smile upon you. Suggesting that they are working for the goddess Hylia, and the goddess has suggested to them to say this, or they are working on behalf of the goddess Hylia. Therefore, if they, it sim makes them similarly appear to have been called by Hylia to um, work in the shrines and therefore help Link. So obviously Hylia has a presence in the game. But well, a more obvious reason to support that Hylia has a presence in the game is the goddess statues. You find them all throughout the world. You can trade in full spirit orbs for either a heart container or a stamina vessel. However, the statue actually speaks to you. And, well, it would be an obvious conclusion that the voice speaking to you from the statue is the goddess Hylia, considering, one, you're trading in spirit orbs, which the monks give you, which they have received from the goddess Hylia, and two, well, it's a goddess statue of the goddess Hylia, so why wouldn't it be the goddess Hylia speaking to you? So, assuming all of that was correct, you would obviously come to the conclusion that the goddess Hylia is featured as a separate character in the game to Zelda, considering that Zelda is in Hyrule Castle and, well, she doesn't act like she's the goddess Hylia and, well, Nintendo has voice acting for Zelda, so if the goddess Hylia statues were Zelda, then they'd do it like that too, wouldn't they? And Zelda doesn't appear to know how to get into the shrines in one of the memories, but that's a separate thing. So therefore, if this is true and there is a separate goddess Hylia to Zelda, 
And then either A, it is an imposter and it's not actually a goddess Ilya, or B, something must have happened previously in the timeline to separate Zelda from the goddess Ilya, creating them into two separate characters rather than the same. Although despite this, Zelda still appears in the game to have goddess-like powers. Well, you know, with the ceiling power and the whole killing Ganon, golden bulls and whatnot sort of things. However, this could be due to a Triforce, because whenever she activates that power, you do see the full Triforce appear. So, I'm not too sure about that one. However, well, that's about it really. So, if you liked the video, give it a like. And um, if you really like this sort of video, subscribe and you'll be able to get more of this sort of content every now and then. As well as other content which I do. And if, well, if you have anything to ask, then comment below. And if you have any ideas about this theory, I'd like to know what you think. So also feel free to comment below about that. So, hope to see you next time. Bye.